Happy Saturday, homies. How's it going, Mac, Big Mac? Happy Saturday, my guy. How are you guys doing today, by the way? Used on Coromon? Like only six I mean, right now there is, I'm pretty sure. Doing Gucci. I'm glad to hear it. Alrighty. So I think the big thing to take away from this is we're going to be fighting Nelson, so. Let's do it. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go, boys and girls. Here we go, baby. Alright, he took the he took the fire turtle. Which I don't know if we're weak against. We might be weak against them. Uh oh, wait. Can we? Yes! Okay, ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Watch this. You can click on the enemy poke. You, you can click on the enemy Coromon and look at all their stats. It's a standard Coromon, because our theory would say it's potent or it's perfect. Then it also says what it's time to weak to. It's weak uh it's weak to water and air. It's also strong against or resistant to heavy fire and ice. Also, it shows how much SP it has. It all these other things too at the bottom here: the crit chance, the speed, the accuracy, the attack, defense, evasion, special attack, special defense. If it raises any of those stats, it'll put a little diamond in there so you can keep track of them. Oh, and what's this? Can you can you do it to your own Coromon? Are you asking? Get, guess what? You totally can. So you know what your Coromon is V2 and what your Coromon is resistant to and what your Coromon has for stats. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? He said, you said it! No, I didn't. Stop, I didn't say it. Here we go. All right, we're going to fight. <clears throat> crazy, it's fire. All right, so we got moves here and we don't know what the fuck they are, right? We just got little widgets. We don't know what they are. We haven't looked at our character yet. If you hold in, I'm using an Xbox controller. If you hold in the select button, it gives you all of your moves and it lets you tell it tells you what they do. A little flavored text. The user, the user strikes a cute pose, lowering the defense of the opposing team. Scratch the target with sharp claws and has a 20% chance, increased critical hit chance. It also says how much power they do, what accuracy they are, what category they are, what type of move they are, and it's crazy. It shows how much SP they use. The other big thing about this game is, I'll put the, the pointer kind of there, is that you have an SP bar. This is like MP in any Final Fantasy game, where the MP, your SP, is how you use your move. So for example, these moves both use two SP. So we're gonna go in and do a defense drop. Kai's gonna use that Q pose. He's gonna drop down the turtle's defense, which is already really high. He's gonna use slam, hit us real hard. That hurt a little bit. Now we're gonna see something else. I'm gonna show this off to you. If we ever run out of SP, or we we can't, we don't have enough SP to use a move, it's gonna force us to rest that turn so we can regain our SP. But they handily, they handily act, put in this really handy button to let you choose to take a quick rest to restore your SP so you can continue using your moves without having to worry about it. Bam! He said, you're way too excited. No, I got this, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, okay. Get that scratch in there. Let's do it. Eight damage, I'm ready. Woo! All right, go for this other scratch. Here we go. Oh, it's almost, that was a crit! Oh, that was also crit, looked like. Here we go. Oh, thank you for that follow, Cito. Cito64, thank you so much for that follow. You're way, way awesome. I hope that my energy is, is paying off for this. Here we go. The OST is pretty good. Oh, that's right. There is an original soundtrack for this. Okay. Did you guys see that? So there's a yellow bar and a blue bar when you level up. Okay, hear me out. When the blue bar fills up, it gives you potential points. These potential points work a lot like IVs or EVs do in Pokemon, but you get to choose where you want to put them. How is that? Josiah, welcome Josiah Davis. Hope you're doing great today. So, because we got the blue bar filled up, we can put these three points wherever we want. Into HP, into attack, into special attack, into defense, into speed, into into our max SP. So we can use more moves without having to rest. Uh, I'm going to play it safe though and just put one into HP and the rest into attack for now. And then we also got to level up. So during your level up, it auto fills in your stats with a certain amount. So not only do you get to have these stats, but you get to use those those blue bar, those potential points. And the cooler thing about this game 
We also got Frost Jump. The cooler thing about this game is that when you get a potent Coromon or you get a perfect Coromon, you get more chances to get those, th that blue bar will fill up more times. So you get more points. So you can make your stats better. So a perfect version of a Coromon is always the best version to get, no matter what. That's so customizable. Kind of makes kind of makes core uh, kind of makes the core one more personalized. Yes, it does. So me and you could have different Cub Zeros. Your Cub Zero could be max HP. Mine could be max speed. Even though his speed stat isn't that great, that's how I feel like I want to play him. He'll be faster than your Cub Zero, right? Oh, this is new! Oh, this is so cool! This is all new. This was not in the last demo. This was new. Oh my god, this was so new. This is great. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the restricted area, access area. Impressive, no? Uh, what am I looking at? Ah, oh, this here? Uh, is what Project Chimera is all about. It is a Titan essence. This comes from a Titan? Indeed. Our team is di Sorry. <clears throat> Our team is dedicated in unraveling the mysteries behind the Titan essences. A team of- a team to which you will be vi viable to addition. A viable addition to! Me? Yes, you. You showed up at a, you showed such great motivation that I had to make sure that you were assigned to this team. As you can see, this device is not capable of stabilizing the enormous power surges of the Titan essence. As uh, as consequence as a consequence, the Titan essence will slowly disintegrate over time. You can imagine that makes it very hard to discover its secrets. Over the past few years, my team worked hard to overcome this complicated and recent this complication and recently we made a massive breakthrough we developed a gauntlet module which is able to safely contain titan essence while keeping it stable that's impressive this module the essence collector will bring us one step closer to understanding the titan essence that's where you come in you will be equipped with the essence collector and assist to his and assist us in gathering the titan essences <clears throat> i see where could i find these titan essences ah huh, come i will show you this is actually the main story of the game right here, guys. So it's a little bit of a spoiler if you want to learn this on your own, but you're all going to figure it out at some point. So here we go. Ready? <clears throat> the Titan Essences are... Uh... Wow, I forgot what the word embedded looked like. My bad. Titan Essences are embedded, in, are embedded within elemental titans, creatures of immense power. Six of them are known to be in Vel... Velu... Velua? Is it... Is it... Velua? I think it's Velua. In Velua. And we've located all of them. If we manage to contain all six of them together, then in a new, in the new Essence Collector, we believe that we can discover their full potential. Ah, oh, there are six of them? That sounds like a challenge. It will be a challenge. But I have faith in your abilities, and I know you will complete this task successfully. I, why? Task successfully? Why is it so hard to say? I won't let Solas down. Tuco, could you bring me the module? Of course. Titans, huh? Huh, I wonder if you'll... This will be based on Greek mythology titans? Mm, not quite. Yo! Oh, that was short. Oh, that's... I thought that was longer than that. Man, I'm so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was super... I was amped for a second. Here you go, Jimmy. The, the Essence Collector. Handle it with care. We have the Essence Collector. Let's go, baby. The first Titan Essence you will extract is the Titan Essence of Voltgar, the Bender of Storms. You see, uh, do you see Donor Island at the southeast of the map? There, in the Power Tower, Voltgar bends the weather and guides thunderstorms towards the island. Before you can use the Essence Collector module, you need to get it installed into your gauntlet. That's a, pre that's a precise task. A precise task? Wait, that doesn't sound... Anyway, there's only one person in Velua who is able to work with that level of precision. And that's Perrin. A good friend of mine. He's working as a blacksmith in Hayville. Oh, right! That's why we have to go to Hayville. Right! Perrin the blacksmith. Got it. How do I get there? Hayville is just beyond the Radiant Park. When you have the module installed, a colleague in Woodlow Harbor will take you across the water in Donor Island. Ah, before you go... Would you be so kind as to hand over your Lux Recall RC to Casey? See you outside the door. I will contact you I'll contact you on your phone if anything comes up. Good luck, Jimmy. And shine bright. Ah, oh, the fart, damn it. 
All right, eating some food, and I'll play this right after. <gasps> Yo, Kata, get it going. Get it going. Everybody, get it going. If you are a streamer, play this game. Please play this game. <clears throat> it's a good game to play. If you're a streamer, play this game. <clears throat> 